Hello there, uh, welcome to another tutorial. Uh, this is on uh, side chaining in Cubase Artist 7 or Cubase 7. So side chaining is, is a process where uh, the signal from one instrument gets sent to the input of an effects processor uh, on another channel or another bus which can create very modern day kind of sounds uh, that you hear in, in trance and dubstep. Up until quite recently, uh, Cubase 7, it was quite difficult to, or quite complicated to activate side chains. Uh, but they seem to have sorted it out in Cubase 7, uh, and it seems a lot easier to do this in the uh, mix console. Uh, so without further ado, uh, we'll go to a track. Or oh, I've got a very, very basic track here. It's just some bass uh, drums, just some kicks. And what we want to be doing is sending these the impulse of these kicks to an effect. The most common one would be uh, to lower the uh, volume of another channel, say um, some strings, which are, which I've got here. So we'll just listen to them very quickly uh, without any side chaining. And you can hear that the the strings are at exactly the same volume all the way through uh, whether the kicks are playing or not. Uh, what we want to do uh, is bring up the mix console by pressing F3. What we want to do is go to the strings track and select a compressor which is here. This is a strings track, it's a, the pad shop. I put a standard compressor on and we activate it by pressing this uh, SC button which is activate side chain. Uh, while we're there we also take off uh, the auto makeup because that would just make it louder uh, and then all you have to do in Cubase 7 is go to your sends uh, and send it to the side chain of uh, pad shop. Turn it on and then you should have some uh, side chaining Play. Now we go to the, uh, the threshold and ratio and we can change the, uh, the amount of pulsing of those strings. Also change the release, go down, make it a shorter release a bit more of a snappy effect well, what you can do is if you take the if you go to your kick drum track which is a uh, 1L we go to the very top of the mix console and take the stereo out off to change to no bus. You'll still get the side chain in effect, which is uh, called a ghost uh, kick drum. So it's still as if the kick drum's playing, but you can't hear the kick drum, which is very useful. You can use it in all, sort of, all kinds of applications in trance and, and dance music. Okay, so next we're going to uh, talk about uh, slightly different things you can do with side chains. That's the most common thing you can do with side chains. Uh, here's another thing, another effect that's quite cool, I think. I've uh, programmed some uh, drums in this into this track. It's a slightly, slightly more complicated drum track. So just play the drums on its own. We get this. And they're kind of randomly put in. There's a, a fairly four to the floor beat, and they've got some little glitches going on here with the uh, 30 second notes. But the point of this is not to use this uh, these drums at all. Uh, we're just going to use these drums as triggers for a wah wah. 
So what we're going to do is listen to uh, the two together, have the uh, the strings and the drums. Can hear no difference at the moment so what I'm going to do is go to uh, inserts on pad shop there where the strings are we add filter go to Wawa and we load it up the Wawa Wawa. Activate the side chain by pressing this activate side chain button. It's usually the rightmost button before the presets. And then again, we'll send these drums, which are IL2. So now when you play it, the drums will be triggering the Wawa pedal. And you get this. change the, uh, the settings on here and like before if you just take the, uh, the drum track and turn the bus off the drum track which is this IL2 Go to the top and say no bus. You then just get a, com a completely side chained string part without any drums in the background. Add the kicks back in. some bass that's a slightly different way of using side chaining to get a, a wah wah effect okay that's about all I've got time for thank you very much see you soon bye bye